This video will show you how to do factorial ANOVA in SPSS. So we have the data set of performance. We are looking at does the car's performance rating change based on city and based on type of car. So I'm going to go to Analyze General Linear, General Linear Model, GLM, Univariate, my dependent variable. Now I have two types of independent variables. So these are my two factors that I'm interested in. These are fixed factors. They are not random. They are not covariates. We're going to go to plots. Put one in for horizontal, the other in for separate. Hit add and then do the opposite. <laughs> this gives us both choices of plots and then you can pick the one that you actually want to report. We'll go to options, homogeneity of variance tests, and of course, estimates of effect size. Continue, okay. So these are all of the charts that we need. Since I know that there is an interaction between type and car right there, I need to do simple effects. So I'm going to open up the syntax so I can go to any of these, so file, new, file new syntax or I can open a syntax if I have it saved. Feel free to save this and then you can keep it and open it when you have any other data set open. If you decide to change this for other data sets, that one is your dependent variable. So type in the new name exactly as it is written right there. So these are your names. This one is one of the factors, that's another factor. So you type in this one and this one. Everywhere it says city, you type in the second dependent variable, I'm sorry, independent variable. So one factor, another factor, you just fill in the blanks. You can highlight everything and then hit the play button. And this is going to give us a whole other set of information, but this table right here is the one that we really care about.